Hey people, <clears throat> I am getting ready to leave for a doctor's appointment and I don't think I posted a video last week. Um, and so here I am, you know, just, I just don't remember what I've done. Um, heading off to therapy, which I used to make fun of and but now I thoroughly sincerely completely believe that I that everybody should take therapy at some point in their life and you may not agree with me as a matter of fact there are a lot of people who make fun of it and make fun of people who go to therapy or need therapy or want therapy but um, I think they're just kind of ignorant they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're missing out on. They don't, they don't understand at all. And they're very close minded. Um, and I have been learning so much about self-compassion and about, um, I, I mean, just when you have self-compassion for yourself, it's easier to feel it for other people as well. Because you realize that uh, we all have a shared humanity. None of us are perfect. And um, nobody is loved more than the other by God. He sees us all equally. Um, he blesses us according to the choices that we make. And that is a fact. And I know some people would argue and say that's not a fact, but it absolutely totally is because just like a regular parent, a good parent anyway, when a child is behaving well, they have more privileges. When a child is, is disobeying the family rules or the house rules, or they're being disrespectful or little jerks, <laughs> they get disciplined for that. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do as a parent anyway with your kids. You don't just let them run the show. If you do, you're not responsible. They'll grow up thinking in life that that uh, life needs to cater to their whims and fancies and whatnot. Great, my side view mirror is stuck. Dang it. This is annoying. Let's see if I can fix this one. There. Roll the window back up. Ugh. It's a cold day today here in Provo, Utah. It's been like had a really bitter wind and, um, and plus it's, there's been a little bit of, um, r scattered showers and slushy snow type rain. Oh my gosh, my mirror's stuck again. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You stupid thing. It's so dumb. This thing must have been hit or something because it's I think someone smashed our mirror. Not cool. That makes me mad. Jerks. Unbelievable. People are rude. <sighs> wow. Okay, so anyway, I've been learning a lot and it's been helping me a lot learn to just forgive myself and give myself a little bit of mercy when I don't do things exactly the way I'd hoped or wanted or dreamed or whatever. Because frankly, you know, life doesn't always work out the way you want or the way you planned or the way you hoped or dreamed or worked for. It just doesn't always do that. It's not supposed to. Uh, it helps us grow and learn and um, develop and become better people. So, um, I've been reading the book, um, Girls Stop Apologizing by Rachel, Rachel Hollis. And it is really good. It is way super duper good. And I love how real she is and how straightforward she is and like to the point and she doesn't beat around the bush. And she says it like it is. I mean, I just totally love that. It's fresh your breath there because it's honest. Um, the only thing, the only thing that I have to say negative about it at all, or just realistically or whatever, 
um, is that she doesn't seem to allow room for this self-compassion thing where if you don't reach the goals you originally wanted or reach the dreams you'd originally had, that it's okay. If you don't end up with like this hugely successful business, it's okay to fail. I mean, she does talk about saying it's totally fine to fail. You, you're ne you can never get anywhere without failing, which sounds so funny. I mean, it sounds funny. It does. You can't get anywhere without failing, but it's true. You don't learn anything and then you don't develop and grow and figure out better ways to do stuff if you don't allow yourself to fall flat on your face. But, um, when that happens, I do not believe you should just freaking beat yourself to death for it. You shouldn't be killing yourself for, um, not doing it right for crying out loud. Write down the lessons you learned. Record them in a journal or something. Write down the how you're grateful for those difficult, painful lessons you learned. And then apply it to your life. So you don't have to keep going through the same things over and over again. To learn said lessons. If you're showing gratitude for the difficult things that you're going through, you are learning, you're growing, you're maturing, you're developing, you're progressing, you're becoming a better person. If you forgive yourself, if you give yourself some mercy and some compassion for all the stupid mistakes you make, you become a much happier person and you're more at peace with yourself and you're showing yourself and the world, if you care to show the world, that, uh, that you, that you're a good person, that you're changing, that you're growing, that you're learning, and that you're applying very valuable life lessons to yourself. And, uh, that, that's big. I mean, that's huge. There's so many people that won't do that, that won't accept responsibility for their failures, who, uh, who won't take the lessons of life and apply to themselves and say, yeah, I did wrong. Or yeah, I messed up. Or yeah, I missed that step. Or yeah, I tripped and fell flat on my freaking face. Like if you're dieting and you screw up, say, yeah, I screwed up. I had a bag of cinnamon bears the other day. <laughs> That's from my brother, Glenn. Um, not that he did that, but he does love sin bears. Um, anyway, as do I. If you're willing to admit that type of stuff instead of hide it or deny it, you're not lying to yourself. When you're lying to yourself, you are causing yourself some pretty serious damage. You won't ever trust yourself. It'll be a lot easier to lie to other people when you're lying to yourself. Then you're dishonest. You're not trustworthy. Other people will figure it out as 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 sly as you think you are at lying to yourself or to others or both. I'm sorry. You're, you're not going to get away with it. Someone's always going to figure it out. And it could be someone who has an amazing opportunity for you. You just threw away because they can't trust you. I mean, gosh, if you can't trust yourself, then, then oh my gosh, that's sad. You're, you're not going to get anywhere. You're always going to be like not believing in yourself. Like, I'm going to start a diet, but then your mind is filled with doubt. And guess what? You will slip up. You will mess up. So here's my thing. Like I have, I've gone on a diet before and lost, um, I lost over 50 pounds in two months. I mean, it was amazing. And okay. Maybe it was like two and a half months, but still it was a freaking amazing. And I busted my butt for that. I went without breads and all sugars and even dairy and um, eggs. And I mean, I went without a lot of stuff and I needed to. I felt so much better on it. And I looked good and I felt good. I mean, everything was good about it. And so I knew I could do it. I never cheated. I did it exactly as you're supposed to. So I can trust myself when I have, when I make my mind up that I am going to diet. Like I definitely want to lose weight. So I recently started a diet that I'll be touching on later. 
that's the keto. Oh my gosh, people, let me freaking over. This is Utah for you. People don't like to let you over, and they love to cut you off. Gosh, bastard. Ass white. Oh my gosh, I just swore. My blinker's been on for a long time, you stupid twat. Yeah, I hear them honking at me. They're so mature. This is Utah. People love to ride your bumper. They love to cut you off. They never let you over, even when your blinker's been on for eight, two miles. And um, they're completely inconsiderate, selfish pricks. That's just the way it is. Yep, they just drove by me honking at me. I don't freaking care. He can be a, a, a douchebag all he wants. Probably some 20 something or teenager. I bet it's a 20 something dumbass. I keep swearing, this is bad. I don't think I've ever sworn on my channel before. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. I'm trying not to get overwhelmed with rage. Road rage. So, anyway, um, uh, what I was saying was. If you're going to have some goals set and some things that you need to get done, by all means, set your goals, but don't kill yourself over not getting them done right when you want to do them or the exact way you want to do them. If you're making some progress, then hallelujah, celebrate it. And then celebrate that you can forgive yourself and that you're not gonna be so hard on yourself because that isn't gonna, that's not gonna stop you from getting anywhere if you, if you uh, are, practicing self-compassion and forgiveness, if you are giving yourself some mercy, you're not a, you're not a loser and you're not going to just stop getting somewhere. Trust me. You are always going to be going somewhere. You're always going to be improving. As long as you are looking forward, you're counting your blessings, you're being grateful. You're being grateful for the lessons that you are having, experiencing and learning and going through. Get out of the way, lady. <laughs> I'm so ornery since I've cut sugar out of my life. Anyway, so here I am at my doctor's office. Oh, sorry, I string cheese in the face. So, um, anyway, if you get a chance to read Rachel Hollis's book, I'm listening to it on Audible because, well, dude, I'm pretty much, I'm done with the book. I'm listening to the live recorded um, conference talk or address that she's giving at the end and it's so cool um anyway i highly recommend it just remember to give yourself some freaking grace be compassionate with yourself because you're going to just be causing more harm and damage to yourself if you're just going to be killing and beating yourself up over every cotton picking thing you do wrong anyway that's just my two bits Love you dudes, share and like this and subscribe and hit the little bell that's next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notice when I put a video up. Okay, ciao.